today. Your home for original reporting. I'm Stacey Lynn on Capitol Hill, where in front of Congress, Ukrainian President Zelensky described what his country has been going through for the past three weeks. Uh, Russian troops have already fired okay. nearly 1,000 missiles at Ukraine. Countless bombs, they use drones to kill us with precision. He made a strong plea to the U.S. and the world. Is this a lot to ask for? to create a no-fly zone over Ukraine to save people. He spoke directly to the American people. I have a dream. These words are known to each of you today. I can say, I have a need. I need to protect our sky. I need your help. And directly to President Biden. You are the leader of the nation. I wish you to be the leader of the world. Being the leader of the world means to be the leader of peace. Now with more on the crisis, here's Steve Kathan. Well, both sides say Ukraine peace talks are progressing. CBS's Charlie Daggett has the latest on the fighting from the capital, Kyiv. I'm Steve. The conflict has intensified and it has accelerated in the past 36 hours or so. Uh, not just here in Kyiv, but as President Zelensky pointed out, Mariupol, Kharkiv, Sumy, and now the suburbs of Kyiv itself. And we've had bombardments here. Less overnight than we had the night before, but we are in the middle of a 35-hour curve. That ends tomorrow morning, which is an indicator of how dangerous it has become around here. There's been a magnitude 7.3 earthquake off northern Japan. Tsunami warnings have gone up in some places. Nine people killed north of Odessa, Texas, after a pickup collided head-on with a bus carrying the University of the Southwest's golf teams among the dead six students. In the pandemic, CBS's Nikki Batiste says scientists are keeping an eye now on the Omicron subvariant. BA2 is about 30% more transmissible than Omicron and now makes up nearly a quarter of new infections among Americans. But it does not appear to be more severe. And so far, U.S. daily cases and hospitalizations continue to drop while deaths plateau. The Fed's expected to raise interest rates for the first time since 2018 today. James Moore, CEO of the Washington Institute for Business and Government. We've never seen anything quite like this. To go from a pandemic to go to the critical crisis that's going on right now in uh, in Europe. And these sanctions that have been placed uh, on uh, Russia are going to create havoc in and of themselves for us. And right now on Wall Street, the Dow's up 392. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>